Hello, my good cancers. This is Miss Kelly with Love and Flame Tarot, and I'm coming to you with your September 2020 overall read. Um, this could be about love. This is could be also venture into finance. Um, this could also just be about your spiritual journey um, moving forward in the month of September. So I would like to start off by saying thank you guys for stopping by the channel. And um, I really appreciate that you guys um, are my number one top viewed sign. So kudos to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you guys, you know, would like to book a personal read, you can find my information in the description box below. And I would also be um, open to doing... Um, I would say I would do three free tarot reads a month. So I would do, because um, one of my weeks would have to be preserved for the um, following the next month's reads. Um, and they are a bit extensive, like this one will be a little longer than usual. Um, so that's why I'm narrowing it down to three. So it'll be one a week. Okay, one free read a week. So, um, let's get started within your reading. So, your overall energy for the month of September is dreams do come true. Little boy blue. So, dreams do come true. Return of the soul. So, you're getting back to a place where you are very um, childlike and you have that innocence about you. You know, you are rediscovering yourself and you're finding yourself getting back to having that faithful, um, lighthearted way of seeing life. You know, you are getting rid of uh, beliefs that no longer are fitting you in your life um, and in your path of where you're trying to go, whether it be... Um, you know, because sometimes we can be in positive situations, but we may just not be on that right path. So, and I just saw 222, two, two, so 222 two, two might be significant um, to you for the month of September. Um, let's see. It could be the second week of September. Um, so twos have some sort of significance. Um, and we have for your overall, like, underlining energy is a secret doorway in reverse. So this means that you're not listening to the messages that Mother Earth is, try uh, is trying to give to you. Um, using your intuition, working with it, um, paying attention to the uh, dimensional doorways that are opening to you, not thinking of things just in the 3D, but also in the 5D realm, um, you know, and from a higher perspective. For week one, we have light, the darkness, ancestors, astral line, generational shift. So you are trying to find a way that you can shift um, things that have gone on within your family line that you may feel like are bad habits or bad things that you don't want to take with you or you also and it says light the darkness so you are the light um in a path that you know you you may feel like you're in a dark place but you are the light the light that you need to bring you out of this darkness is within you and you have it because this is something that's been brought down to you through generations um you know your ancestors they speak very clearly to you and that's why i believe they're speaking about you know you finding that innocence within yourself again that way you are quick to trust your in when you're young, the only thing you really have to go on is your intuition because you really have no experience. And so that's why they're saying paying attention to, um, paying more attention to your intuition and the messages that you're receiving or that are trying to be relayed to you. Um, getting one with nature, getting more back out there. For week two, ooh, loving it. We have Shimmer. So you're going to be radiant, you know, showing your confidence. You're going to be a lot more charismatic. Um, 
and getting, you know, and working toward the things that you want. You're going to have this glow. You know, you're going to be dressing well. You're going to be feeling really good about yourself um, moving forward. Week three, you're going to be letting go of something, of an attachment that, that's no longer serving you. You're going to detach from a situation. You're going to move on from it. It doesn't mean that you no longer have any love for this person, but you feel like there is some sort of attachment that needs to be let go within the situation. Week four, her special place. So week four, you're going to inside and out. You're going to be focusing on your inside as well as your outside. Um, you are going to be more, again, confident within yourself. You're going to feel like you don't need external things or people to validate you or make you feel as though you are enough. You're going to find that safe space within yourself to know that you are enough. I love this. All right, let's see what's going on in love. Week one for the cancer. What's going on in love? Week one for cancer. Love week one for cancer, please. Love week one for cancer. Love week one for cancer. Thank you. Okay, so. In love, Cancer, I feel like you may feel like someone has, has tried to set you up. Um, you feel like someone has possibly tried to get you, tried to, <laughs> look, I'm going to try to get you. It could be possible that they tried to get you pregnant or they were trying to get you, um, because this could be for male and feminine, you know, masculine and feminine. Or you could have, you know, someone could have been trying to trick you, the masculine, into getting them pregnant. And whatever this situation is, you um, you feel very sorry about the situation. You want forgiveness within the situation. Um, but there are some parental issues um, due to the situation. And you're drinking... In week one, you might be drinking a little more to try to cope with the situation. But again, here, like it says, light the darkness. Try to find ways within the situation to, I feel like, to work it out. Or your ancestors is working with you to work this situation out. I know that's right. Week two, single and ready to mingle. You are becoming, you're showing your vulnerability, your confidence. You're not afraid any longer to, you know, be comfortable within your skin and who you are. You're radiant. You're glowing. You're you're not afraid to bury yourself and bury your all. You're burying your soul. Beautiful. Cancer. Beautiful. Week three. Okay. Courtship. So, again, what did I say? You're letting go of relationship. I feel like you're not answering messages right now. Or you, um... Or your person is not answering um, your messages. But either way, this is a situation that you feel as though you're going to let go of. Um, week four. Mm. So, um, let's see. I don't like how that one came out, but you're going to be honest. Week four. Just in love. Week four in love. Okay, so I feel like, hmm. I feel like you loving yourself. Hmm. Let me see, why seduction? Seduction, seduction. Uh, seduction here for week four. Seduction, please. Seduction. So I feel like this divine masculine. I feel like you feel like you were being. You're being seduced by someone who was making something seem like, feel like that they wanted something else or they, they portray themselves 
as a different person when they're online versus when they are talking to you. Drinking the coat. I'm just drinking the thing. All right. Hey, Cassie, you got these bitches taking notes. Yeah, say again, their confidence. You single, ready to mingle. You're letting go of things that no longer serve you. Again, little boy blue, getting back to that innocence within yourself. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, let's get some tarot. Why is little boy blue here as the overall energy for September? Little boy blue. Now, one card, please. Thank you. Okay, so you would like to... Ooh. So, Cancer, looks like you would like a little more teamwork um, or you would like to collaborate with this emperor. This emperor could be the father of your child. He could just be a boss um, that I see pinnacles. Maybe this is your boss. You feel like, you know, you wish that you all's relationship could be a little bit better. Um, you want to collaborate with this person. Um, teamwork. Light the darkness for week one. Mm. So you feel like there was some toxic energy and it led to heartbreak. And you've been trying to figure out a way or you feel like someone, you have this bond, this bond or you feel bound to someone and it has you feeling the three of cut. I mean the three of swords and I see this three of pentacles so clearly we are talking about heartbreak um I feel like you feel like maybe this boss or this emperor um this emperor um Feel like you feel like this boss or this emperor. Hmm. Hmm. The three of pentacles, three of hearts. I mean the three of swords, the three of hearts, Lord. The double card. So I feel like you feel like there are some addictions, unhealthy um attachments with this person. But I feel like your ancestors stepped in to block this negative energy from being able to continue to come towards you. Mm-hmm. Drinking a Coke for the union. This union, high level of commitment, a soulmate. So you are feeling like, you know, You want a higher level of commitment with this person. You see this person as your soulmate, but you feel like there's some toxic energy that's associated with this soulmate. So, um, let's see week two, Shimmer. Week two, Shimmer. Why is Shimmer here? Week two for Cancer for September. September, why is Shimmer here? For cancer, okay, we had two. Yeah, so definitely some third party action going on here. We have three threes, so three 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 will be significant for you in September. Um, and that's the ninth month. You break it down, threes, so you know. So we have the eight of wands and we have the three of cups. So you want to communicate with this person or you just want to communicate. You just want to travel, go out, start going out more, mingling more. Your con, like I said, in the second week of September, your confidence is going to be very high. Or you could be wanting to reconcile with someone as well in the month of September, um, and you want to send some sort of new communication towards this person. Look of a new beginning. You want to have a stable, a new stable beginning with this person. Single ready to mingle. Oh, that's too many, Spirit. Single and ready to mingle. Single, ready to mingle. Too many. 
single, write it to me, please. One card. Single. That's too many. One card, please, sir. Single, ready to mingle. Single, uh -uh. ready to mingle. I'm going to pull that I can't get one card. Single, ready to mingle. I don't like the pull, bro. All right. Okay, we have the nine of wands. So you feel like the dating scene, <laughs> the dating scene is a battle. And it, you, I feel like you've kind of taken like a step back from it. But I feel like, you know, ancestors are saying that you need to get out there. You need to go out. You need to mingle with other people, interact with other people. That's the only way, you know, you're going to start to really show off that confidence and that alluring personality that you have, Cancer. Um, that's the only way you're going to meet people. But you're going to probably have to come out of that space of feeling defeated. So, we have the Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups. So, again, I, and the Tower. That What did I say? So, there was a Tower moment due to someone trying to get away with, I feel like, being in a long-term um, situation. And the reason that I say that is because the Emperor has showed up. That is a husband. That is someone who... Um, you know, again, like I say, a ball CEO, but when we have the three of hearts, I mean, the three, the Lord keeps saying three of hearts, three of swords come out, that, that, that's so, some, you know, that, that represents love, some sort of heartbreak and loss. And again, we see the two of cups here, we have the three of cups here, we have the six of cups here. So the love, this is some, this is something that has been going on, um, through time, but why is courtship here? Last courtship here. I'm not going to lie to you. This is more of a love reading for me. Courtship, high level of commitment. So you feel like that you do have some sort of hope or faith that you, this long-term commitment can happen with, um, with this person. And we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, which means that you will have um, success within this situation. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, her special place. Why is her special place here? Strength. So you're finding the strength, like I said, to love yourself inside and out. You're taking your time and you're waiting. You're waiting, you're working on yourself. And that's what you're going to be doing in the fourth week. You're working on yourself after this betrayal. After you feel a stab in the back, you went with things, you've been using your intuition. Mm -hmm. Using your intuition. And you had a victory because of you using your intuition that this person had an empress, that they had a wife, but you were stuck in your head about it because I feel like this person, again, was being deceptive and you decided that you want to go the other way. You changed your mind. Yeah, you changed the course of direction. You changed the course of where you were going. Seduction and painting pictures, please. And this is the um, Afro Goddess Tarot Arcanas. Mm -hmm. mm, that's too many of them. Three. One, two tops, please. Spirit. Seduction, painting pictures. Illusions. Having so many options. You're thinking that someone has a lot of options. When in all actuality, they're single. I feel like you're okay with now being single. This could be looked at it too, in two different ways. That, um, you know, this person has a lot of options. They're painting pictures like they have a lot of options. But in all actuality, they are single. They're on their own. <laughs> they're focused on their money right now. Um, and I feel like they want to, someone wants to either you or your person wants this Ten of Cups. They want this Ten of Cups. This is what you're looking for. This is what you, this is the offer you're waiting on. Um, you're off, you're waiting on someone who wants 
overall love and you know stability who's gonna be there um and that's what you're manifesting okay look single and abundant got these bitches taking notes okay all right i want to clarify this devil card why's the devil card here Okay, someone says stabbed in the back. Ooh, look. Dealing with a Gemini. Someone feels stabbed in the back. We have a King of Wands here. Feel stabbed in the back. And so they're taking a pause right now. Ooh, ooh. Ancestors. They're taking a pause right now. Why is this two? Uh, mm hmm Good. Now, Emperor out there again. So this emperor wants to make, a, so in the first week, either a child's father or someone who's just like, you know, a boss, this emperor wants to make a stable offer. Who does this emperor want to make this offer to? Uh -uh. Who does this emperor want to make this offer to? Someone that they can move forward with and work on a and work on a soulmate connection. They don't want to be in this energy anymore. I feel like they don't want to be in this energy. This stabbed in the back, this ang ang anxious feeling. Um, I feel like they want to come and they want to apologize and they want to offer you their love. Okay. Why is the nine of wands here? Mm. Three of Pentacles. The high priest of someone was list listening to their intuition about trying to collaborate with someone and they found out that this person had was pretty much had them in a third party situation. Because again, and that this person was looking for passion. This person was not looking to have anything longevity they were just looking for passion wow yep there you go time moment there you go the terror moment <laughs> there you go why is the seven of swords and six of cups here seven of swords six of cups seven of swords six of cups seven of swords. okay But someone felt like that someone was holding back and it left you feeling very discontent. Someone was been not being clear. They were stuck at a crossroads. They didn't know whether they wanted to offer their cup or not. Or you feel like they didn't know. And you felt like it wasn't going to lead to a high level of commitment or no. Mm -mm. You saw. So this is something that you saw online or um some sort of communication that you found out but a lot of times this is you either asking questions or trying to find out more information and i feel like you found out that this person was in a high level of commitment these cars just having their own little mind tonight and i don't like it falling off but it feels like you didn't want to be um you no longer saw this person as your nine of cups. Or you could feel like this person didn't want a higher level of commitment with you. Why is the strength card here? For week four, why is the strength card here? Uh-huh, see, going within. You're going within. Finding, like I said, yep. Closing out a cycle, moving on, moving into a new cycle. You are going within and making some changes. You're resting, you're relaxing, you're taking time out to find a new perspective and just to um, see how you want to move forward. 
Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Again, having faith in the situation. <laughs> Someone having faith and hope that they can have a passion at the beginning with you. They want to seduce you. Whatever this is, they are trying to seduce you and seduce you bad. They want to come and balance things out. Like, they really want to balance things out. Anytime you have the justice and then temperance right behind it, they no longer want to break from you. They want to give and take and re give and receive with you. And they want a victory. They want a victory, but they're hiding the fact that they're juggling. But it became clear, and you know, someone this, you know, someone was deciding. Look, I'm gonna hold this last cup because I'm not gonna give this last cup until I know exactly what's going on. And I believe that's when the, you know, you went looking and you saw that this person was already in a higher level of commitment. Um, had a long, but this is like legacy. Um, with the coins, ten of coins, that's legacy. But this person, this is where their heart is, or this is what this person may be portraying that they want to you. And then you decided to walk away. Okay, so let's see. What is what message are we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? I guess I was supposed to have already had this together, right? So let's see what gift you're going to embody for September. I like to do these for the monthlies. We're going to do the gifts. Let's see what gift my good cancer is going to embody for the month of September. Oh, this would be a good old time, cancer. But this would be a monthly read. I mean, because I don't want to complicate it. It's pretty much just focusing to the point. Like, you're going to be focusing on you. You know, you're going to be... Your confidence is going to be good. You're going to be feeling good about yourself. You're actually in a place where you are open to being vulnerable. And you're ready to go out and start dating and mingling with other people. But yes... What gifts do we have for the Cancer for September 2020? What gifts does Cancer need to embody? What gift does Cancer need to embody for September 2020? What gift does Cancer need to embody? Two many spirit, one card. What gift does Cancer need to embody to make it through September? What gift does Cancer need to embody? Humanitarian. Okay, so you might be dealing with an Aquarius. The reason I say that, let's be real, the Aquarius is the humanitarian of the deck. So maybe you need to embody that um, way of thinking. You're a voice for the voiceless to create reform and change, relying on the divine to guide you and protect you from harm's way. So they're saying for you... You will be embodying human, the humanitarian gift, your humanitarian side. You're going to be the voice for people who are voiceless, and you're going to change and change relying on the divine to guide and protect you from harm's way. You're going to start seeing things in a whole different perspective. You're going to see how things are going to start really looking up for you. Um, moving into october so i feel like the overall this was a really good read um oh you know the only thing i did not i want to see well i mean mm, let's see what this i want to see right quick what this three of pentacles is about since this is your overall energy let's clarify this three of pentacles what is going on? okay three of pentacles three of pentacles three of pentacles didn't I say it? Look at that. You don't know if you want to collaborate with this person because you're stuck in trying to figure out if you actually are going to be able to have a legacy and longevity with this person. And this is what's crossing you. You not having faith that this 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 partnership or this um, you collaborating with this person is going to bring 
about longevity um, and stability. And so you're trying to, I feel like you're getting ready to take a new direction. So yeah, um, in this new direction, of course, like I said, week three, they say you're going to finally let this go. This situation, you're going to let it go. You're going to move on. Um, so again, thank you so much, Cancers, for stopping by the channel. I hope these messages resonate. Um, if you would like, please like, share, subscribe. Um, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can um, contact me at the information below in the description box. And if you would like to um, book a personal reading, you can find the information in there as well. Again, thank you all for stopping by the channel. I can't wait to see you guys next time in your, um, I want to do, I think like, um, I'm going to say just like a, some type of bonus read. I'm going to figure out because I said I've been, I've been wanting to work on some different spreads. So, um, I will see you guys soon.